What is up, you guys? Welcome to another studio vlog. My name is Ari and I'm the founder of the business Ari Crochet where I like to crochet and sell plushies. For our video this week, we're just gonna do another studio vlog and I'm just gonna take you through my week of crocheting and making stuff and market prepping. I have so much to get done and I wish I could branch out and make more creative and like different videos for you guys, but I just have so much work that I need to do for this market. So hopefully you guys are cool with me just taking you along this week. Anyway, currently it is Monday and it is about 9 a.m. I've just started the workday about an hour ago. I like to start usually at 8 a.m. So far today, I have gotten these three turtles done. These are my like, I like to call them lavender turtles because I mean, purple shell and tan body. So lavender, right? I think this has to be like one of my favorite um, color combo turtles that I've made. So cute. Anyway, I feel like I should have been able to do more than three turtles in an hour, but I mean, I guess it's not terrible. Anyway, today is a turtle making day. Like I said in the last vlog, I have to make 35 and we're picking off off. We're picking up right where that one left, right where that vlog left off, so we are going to continue making turtles. If you guys hear a noise in the background, it's I have a little fountain going in the background, so I apologize for the noise, but I don't think it should be too bad. Little fountain. Anyway, so I have made all of the colors of turtles that I usually make except one. I have not made any blue, light blue with dark blue turtles yet. These are the two colors that I use for the, for my blue turtles. These two shades of blue. They go really well together and I think they're a pretty popular color combination that like people have ordered off of Etsy. I'm not so sure at markets, I don't know what color combos are most popular at markets. I guess I don't really pay attention, but Anyway, we're gonna be making three of these next. Before I get into doing that though, I have to send out an email. I do have a email like news, I do have an email newsletter that I try to send out on Mondays every few weeks. So I need to send one of those out. If you guys by any chance would like to join my email newsletter, you can get updates on my shop when new listings come out. And if you join, you will get a free code for 20% off your first order from my Etsy shop. So if you guys would like to check that out, there should be a link in the description box below so that you guys can join. I would love to have you guys join. That was just a little rant, plug, whatever it was. Anyway, I'm going to send one of those out and then I think we're just gonna go back to making turtles. I'm hoping we can get, I don't even know how many turtles I have. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 out of the 35 turtles that I need to make. I don't know how many turtles I'll be able to make in the day, but I guess this is, I guess we're gonna see. I'm going to send that out and then we'll be back to making turtles. I'm gonna see how many I can make in a day. I'm not sure. I've never tried to see how many turtles I can make in a day, but that's what we're gonna do today. At this point, I'm wondering if I should just make it a how much can I crochet in a day video or if it should just be a studio vlog. I'm not sure. We'll see where it goes, but for today, I'm gonna see how many turtles I can make. Let's go. I do have to go eat first though. I need food.
Once again, the state of my desk after working for several hours. It gets pretty messy, but anyway, here's a little bit of an update. We got the lavender turtles done, which I believe I showed you earlier. We got the light blue with dark blue turtles all done, and we are assembling more original colored turtles. And then we're just gonna kind of repeat the colors. I might try to make some new colors this time around. I think that would be fun. But for now, I'm just making the colors that I already have. So yeah, probably check back in later, probably near the end of the day to see how much I ended up making. Yes, I did get distracted. We're not gonna work till four today because obviously I got distracted. So we're gonna work longer. We're probably gonna work till six. I think that sounds good. So I found a show to watch. I'm gonna try to crank down. Let's go. It is currently 8.30 and I have made 15 turtles today. I think I did pretty good today. I'm hoping to make a lot more tomorrow though. Anyway, that's the end of my work day. I apologize for not filming and vlogging as much today, but I think I should be able to get a lot more footage over the rest of the week. I am going to vlog off for tonight and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is currently two minutes from being 8 a.m. and I'm going to get to work. I have to finish the other like 12 turtles that I want to get done today. Once I finish 12 more turtles, then I'll be done with all the turtles that I have to make for now. So then we can move on to something else. I think I might try bringing in some new color combinations this time. I think it would be fun. And if I do, which I probably will, I will show you guys. I love making these little turtles. They're so small and cute and simple to make. I think they're probably one of my favorite things to make. But anyway, I already have a bit of a head start from stuff that I made yesterday. I already have three turtle shells. They look like a mess right now, but because I haven't sewn them onto anything, but three turtle shells and one of the turtle like bodies, like with the legs. And then I have like almost another body done. So obviously I'm making the dark green turtles right now. After that, I'll probably branch into some other color combinations. I will update you guys later after I've made some other colors probably. I should be able to get my full work day in. I do have to go to practice later, but that's after the work day is over so i also need to film and edit a youtube short i'm not exactly sure what that's gonna be about i assume it's gonna be about the turtles i'm making maybe i'll just do one where i just show you guys like all the turtles i'm making just like a simple youtube short but anyway i do need to post one of those so those are the plans for the work day pretty simple pretty easy and it is 802 now so i'm going to put my show on and get to work Let's get stuff done. So I finished the turtles. I actually didn't have to make as many more as I thought, so that was nice. Now I have plenty of turtles for my market. Next, I wanna move on to something bigger, more fun and exciting. I'm going to make a T-Rex dinosaur. It's the, it's the pattern by Blue Phone Studios. I've got it right over here on my desk. It's by Blue Phone Studios and it was the, like the really popular T-Rex pattern, but I'm gonna be making it in, Velvet yarn using green and dark green 
thinking it'll use a lot quite a bit of this yarn up which i'm happy about because i want to make a ton of stuff for this market but i also want to use a lot of yarn because i have a ton of yarn so i think that's the current plan right now getting those turtles to stack up in that tower was crazy i was so afraid they were gonna like fall over make sure you guys comment down below what your favorite turtle color combo was like shell and body color combination i ended up doing two new ones two new turtle colors actually technically i did three new colors by mistake usually i make pink and purple colored turtles usually i make them to where the shell is pink and the body is purple as well as the head but when i was trying when i was making these i accidentally messed up and thought that the shell was supposed to be purple and once I realized that the shells were supposed to be pink, I had already, like, made a few. So I just kept going with it. And now we have reverse. So we have these two colors now. But, well, I already had this one, but this one's new. So, yeah. I think it's fine. I think it came out good and I ended up getting all the turtles I needed. So, whatever. The two other color combinations I made were these two, so I made a blue and yellow one, which kind of reminds me of Minions, but I think it's cute. And then, kind of like a watermelon one, it's like a pink, or like a s strawberry turtle almost, it's uh, just pink and green. I think it came out pretty cute. I love making these turtles, they're so just cute and fun and small. Made 35 of them, there's so many. Hopefully people will like those because I have a lot. And my yarn shelves are slowly getting smaller. As you can see over there, that shelf right there used to be full of yarn and now it is, well, not. I still have some more of that type of yarn in these cubbies over here, but I'm using up quite a bit so far, which I think is good. Getting rid of yarn, yay! I'm gonna go start making that dinosaur and I will update you guys later. I was just about to start working and I was broke. Oh, air conditioner is running, I forgot. <laughs> I was just about to start working and then I poked myself on this scary thing. This is a little chick guy I made and I made him and I stuck pins in him so he's kind of like my little pin cushion but I think he's a little too small because the pins can or either that or I don't know like I guess I just push them in too far because all of these are like in there but then the other part like the ends stick out of like the pins and sometimes they poke through this little bag and so when I grab the bag it pokes me. It just did that. It didn't really hurt. Like, I'm fine, but like, it has hurt me before. Maybe I need a new pink cushion, like a bigger one. Maybe I need to make a bigger one. <laughs> and I mean, he's a chick, like he doesn't deserve to be stabbed with pins. He's, he's fine. Let's go make a dinosaur now. Hi guys. It is now Wednesday. The workday has officially just started. It is 8.40 right now. It's 8.40. I usually start at 8, yes. I was putting a post up on Facebook and YouTube community page, so that's work technically too. But anyway, I'm ready to get crocheting now. I think this vlog is going to be slightly fragmented, so I apologize for that. It's just kind of all over the place, but what can you do? I also apologize if there's like a quality change from the clips from a few days ago and the other days I took this vlog than from today. I'm still playing around with getting the hang of like the camera setup that I want to have. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the crochet work and I'll show you what I got done last night. So last night I started working on one of those big dinosaurs that I told you guys about. Of course, I didn't film any of the process. Hopefully I'll film some today, but we have most of the body done. It looks kind of weird right now because it's not stuffed and the eyes aren't in. His head is kind of, his head is kind of floppy. But anyway, 
but I really like how the colors and the stripes are working up. I'm really excited because I haven't, I've made one of these dinosaurs before, but I haven't made one in the velvet yarn, so I'm pretty excited to see how it turns out. The first thing I want to crochet today is I want to finish this. After that, I think I might make some more colors of these dinosaurs. Only thing is, I'm going to have to get some more stuffing because I'm running pretty low. This is the stuffing. This is all the stuffing that I have left. Not that much. I might be able to fill this dinosaur, but I'm not sure. I don't think I'd be able to do another one. We're gonna have to get some more stuffing at some point. I don't know if that'll be today. Hopefully it'll be today, we need some more stuffing. That's the plan. I will update you guys probably when I finish this dinosaur. I just heard a weird noise. I should have also inserted a clip from yesterday of the turtle stack tower pyramid that I made. I was, I feel so proud of it and I feel like I shouldn't be that proud of it, but like, I am. Cause like it was just a tall turtle stack and they're so cute. Make sure you guys tell me what your favorite color combination is. I think I've said that already, but make sure you do that. So just wanted to let you guys know that I'm proud of my turtle pyramid. I will not be ashamed of my crochet turtles. <laughs> At this point, I'm not sure if this is going to be enough stuffing to finish this dinosaur. I can only hope, but hopefully today we can get some more stuffing. Anyway, I just did the eye indentation. I think it came out pretty good, so his face is done and his head is stuffed. His body is not because there's a gaping hole, but I'm going to finish him up. His head looks so small compared to his body when it's not stuffed. Okay, so I just ran out of stuffing. I was able to get this much of the dinosaur done. I think it's turning out really cute, but I do need to go to the store today and get more stuffing. It turned out quite a bit bigger than I thought, which I'm kind of happy with. I wanted him to be big. Since I don't have stuffing, what I've been doing is I've been making leggy frog bodies because you technically don't have to stuff them and sew them up till the very end. Like you, all I have to do for these is just stuff them and then sew them and then they're done. So I'm just making the bodies right now. I made three of the light green baby ones and I'm just finishing up this big one. His arms and legs are kind of wacky, but I'm gonna put the eyes in the mouth on this one and finish this one off and then I'm just gonna keep, just gonna keep making more of those until I go to get more stuffing, which hopefully I will be doing soon. I'm just gonna keep going. We're making a lot of green things today. Green dinosaur and green leggy frogs. Let's go get some more done. Okay, it's a little while later. It's about the end of the work day now. It is 4.36. In total, I ended up getting three of the big light green frogs done. Three little light green frogs that I showed you guys earlier. Three of the big dark green ones. And two of the little dark green ones. So we got all of those done. And we got stuffing. I got two of these. Now we should have plenty of stuffing for this market and to finish this dinosaur. But nevertheless, it's the end of the workday now. So.
It is currently 8.56 a.m. on Thursday. I do have plans tomorrow and I need to edit this vlog to get out on Saturday, so this is probably gonna be the last day I'm filming for this vlog. I finally finished the body of the dinosaur this morning. I only had this just a little bit left to do, I just had to close it up. We have the two little arms and I'm currently working on the first foot of the dinosaur. So I'm gonna finish this guy up and then I will show you guys. I kind of want to make a blue one now or a purple or a pink or yellow. I just want to make all the colors because I think this guy is gonna turn out super cute. That's the quick little update. Hopefully this vlog isn't super boring. I haven't done much this week. I've pretty much just been crocheting, 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 which is good. Like this is what we want. So I still have all of these leggy frogs that I need to finish today. So I'm gonna finish this dinosaur and then I either will start another dinosaur or I will work on finishing those frogs. Kinda wanna make another dinosaur or at least start another one. I don't think I'd be able to finish a whole nother one. I got started with work a little late today. I was reading this book, The Reluctant Duchess by Rosanna M. White. It's a Christian fiction and it's pretty good. It's a pretty, pretty decent sized book too. I'm more than halfway, so. It's always sad to have a good book end though because you like, you will always want to keep reading it. But you also want to get to the end, but then it's sad when you get to the end because you don't have anything left to read. Just a little book update do you do any of you guys read if you do put it in the comments let me know and tell me what you guys are reading okay it's a little while later and i finally finished this dinosaur i think he came out so cute i'm so happy i kind of want to make like 55 more of these i love how the stripes contrast the light green and the dark green i just think it looks super good anyway so i'm happy with him Next, I do want to make a blue dinosaur. I want to make like all the colors, but I think before I do that, I am going to go finish those leggy frogs from earlier. I just want to get them done and out of the way. All I have to do is stuff them and sew them up. So yeah, that's the plan for now. Okay, it is a little bit later. I ate some lunch. These frogs really didn't take me that long to make. I don't even think they took like half an hour. So that was cool. They're all done now. Actually, I should just flip the camera around and show you guys. Here we have the makes of today. Dinosaur and all the frogs. I do have to make more frogs in other colors, but at least I got the green ones done. I plan on making a blue dinosaur. Blue one of these now, but I am not going to include it in this video because I need to get editing and get ready to post it for Saturday. With that, that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. Just thank you guys so much for helping support my little channel. If you do like this content, if you're a new viewer and you like my content, you want to see more, you can subscribe, like and comment, whatever you want to do. Please also comment down below any content or video ideas that you want to see. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye!